Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today we're going to have a little conversation about this concept of past lives and famous people. So one of the frequently asked questions I will get on videos when I do channeling sessions is about if celebrities have had past lives and if so, who have they been? Because there's sometimes um, it feels kind of obvious that to some people that this particular celebrity must have been this particular person in an afterlife because of the similarities or because of the the resemblances between the two lifetimes or the two people or the way they look or the way they act or the careers that they're in that kind of a thing so the first question then would be is because someone has been famous in this most recent lifetime that we're channeling does that mean that they've had other past lives where they've been famous and the answer to that question is sometimes. Sometimes that can be the case. Now, if you've watched any of my videos where I've done comment, reply videos, or had chats about afterlife, past lives, reincarnation, you'll know that I'm not a fan of past lives because I really believe that we have got to focus on the life we're living here and now. And if we get distracted by what was happening in the past, then you're not gonna fulfill your life purpose here you are going to be constantly looking backwards and not you're not going that way so you got to be focused on the present so that you can move forward so that's how i feel about past lives my philosophy but it's true yes it's true that some famous people have had past lives where they have been famous before so yes that is true yes that is possible all right so next logical question might be for you to ask me well bridget have you channeled anybody or have you had sessions with anybody who's been a famous person in a past life and the answer to that question is yes 100 percent i have and so some of the people that i have met in this lifetime who have been famous people in past lifetimes are people like I, like, I feel like I, I don't know if I should share that, but I will. <laughs> because why? Because I'm a straightforward talker and very sincere and authentic. So I've spoken with someone who shared a lifetime, a past life with Grace Kelly. I have been connected with Marilyn Monroe and also Audrey Hepburn. So those are three very specific ones. There are probably others, but I can't, they're not as like relevant, prevalent in my, or relevant, prevalent, blah, 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 blah. they're not as like, whew, stand out in my mind. There's probably been others though as well. So I've had the chance to meet those three in this lifetime and know who they've been in the past lifetime. So cool, interesting. And so you may have noticed that I use specific wording around that. I said, share to life with. So there's a whole concept of, of past life stuff that and spirit stuff that you guys probably aren't aware of. And I'm not super going to be very articulate about this. And I'm gonna keep it really basic, okay? Because that's the best way to describe it. Wherein spirit or your soul is like the rays of the sun. One ray, one beam of the sun, that's what you are, but you're connected to this whole source energy of the sun. So you're one ray, but you're connected to the sun, okay? And when you incarnate or choose to come back and, and, and experience life through a human body for your soul, to experience life through a human body, it's not just, oh, this is mine and that's it. There's nothing else. You ride that life until the end and be done. There are a lot of different types of incarnation where in in different choices that spirit can make that you as a spirit can make in your lifetime that you're living wherein there might be other souls that want to have this similar experience without actually fully having a life that they've incarnated into without the big commitment of a whole life experience to move through because the physical body can live for a hundred plus years and so a, in human time, that's a really long time, but in spirit time, it's not. And spirit has, different spirits have different focal points of things that they wanna do, accomplish, experience, and feel. And so they might come in just for a short amount of time and share a life experience. Now that doesn't mean, I'm not trying to freak you out. I'm not saying that like, 
It's not like a possession thing. It's not like a, a fight thing or a split personality spiritually wise thing. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's a shared experience where more than one soul can have the same memory of a lifetime. So multiple people may come forward with memories of being Marilyn Monroe or of being Audrey Hepburn or Grace Kelly as I have described it to you as I've met these people, parts of these people's soul in new people's bodies. <laughs> so it's kind of cool, but it's complicated as far as like, how does the brain, the brain cannot even, because you guys still ask me, I still get common, common, common tons of questions in emails and in comments about how, how, how is it possible for a spirit to be in more than one place at a time? And how is it possible for them to look this way for one person and this way for the other. And how is it possible for you not to see their whole life? And how is it possible for you not to ask them questions and have them directly specifically answer you back? Well, it's because spirit is different than human. It's not the same. It's a part of something bigger. It's not limited. Spirit is not limited by location, geography, human body. It's not limited. Although a spirit may be living in a human body, it's not limited. So therefore multiple people can have similar memories and similar experiences, shared spirit, soul experiences. I don't know if I am explaining this accurately for you to be able to process it or understand, but Channeling with the spirit or talking with the spirit is not the same thing as talking to a person. It's different than that. It's not the same thing. Are there similarities? Absolutely, yes. Why are there similarities? Why is it easier for some spirits to come through and like look like they did in their most recent human life and talk like they did and say things they did? Why is that possible for some, but not all? It depends on who's receiving, who's the channeler, who's the psychic, the receptive mode I'm in as the channel, as the psychic, as the medium. And also, also it depends on what is best for you as a viewer, as the intended receiver of the information of the message. This is not spiritual communication, psychic connection, understanding your soul's path, understanding your soul's purpose for your life is not at all not at all about answers, about knowing everything, about predicting your future, because you create it. You create this process of your life. You create it. You are responsible and accountable for the choices that you co-create with the universe, with other souls, with other spirits. And, and nobody else, nobody else is here to show, demonstrate, prove, or give you evidence to change your values and your belief system. And that is on you, that is your choice. And at least here at Above Life Channel on YouTube, my job is not to convince you, to persuade you, to sway you into believing in the afterlife and creator and God and universe and magic and all that. That's your choice. Life is so much better when you can believe in that which is positive, supports you, and then you can receive all that goodness. But talking about past lives, talking about soul purpose, talking about spirit and understanding how spirit works is not a cut and dry scenario. It is not a science. It is much more of an art and therefore up to interpretation and creative expression. And that should make you feel really good because that means that you have so much power and empowerment about your life, even as you are a spirit embodied in this human life experience. You are the expression in the way that you co-create it with your mind. Oh, I know that stubborn mind, your heart, your body, and your spirit working all together in unison. And that is what life is all about. And that is what understanding the soul and the spirit and spirit communication and spirit connection is about. It's about you connecting with you, being in alignment with what's best for you to inspire your spirit, to fill you up with hope because this, this here and now, here and now is your life. <laughs> this is your life. So live it. Just live it.
Thanks for watching.